forget to like comment and share with all your friends as well and in case if you are visiting my channel for the first time don't forget to subscribe as well and do hit that bell icon as well for all the notifications from digital e-learning on my upcoming next videos so in this video series of money tab i'm going to talk about how do you calculate the process capability and how to interpret the many type output so let us assume that we have a specification as 5 plus minus 0.1 and i have recorded the data in the two cells so i have taken here the 20 readings and i have recorded data first thing before we assess the process capability we need to check whether the data what you have entered is normal or not so let's check whether data is normal or not go to stats basic stats normality test click on number of data and there are a couple of tests uh, we use for normality anderson darling Rand joiner but we normally we take it as anderson darling test here if you give, want to give any title to it say uh, normal normality test we just write down click okay yeah so the, the criteria to check whether the data is normal or not there are two things first of all you have to check whether the other points are hugging your the red, red line the, the line and the p value should be greater than 0 0.05 so p value is 0 0.8 so it shows that the data is normal and so you can go ahead and proceed with your process capability study same but if your data is not normal then there is other way other steps that you need to do whether you need to transpose the data using a box cause transformation or johnson transformation but in our case in this case since the data is normal we will straight away go to process capability studies so we will minimize this window and go to stats quality tools then we have the capability analysis since our data is normal so we will take the first one normal here you will select as data subgroup size will be one but in case if you have multiple subgroups so you can divide your data into certain subgroups and enter subgroups of say one two three or a five but in this case i have taken subgroup of five one since we have only 20 readings here my lower specification would be 4.9 and upper will be 5.1 in case if you know the historical mean you can enter that but that is optional and same is the case for historical standard deviation if you, if you don't know these things you can keep it blank this is for transfers if if you want to transfer but since our data is normal we'll stick to no transformation in this case and options nothing you need to change everything you have the k value as six we will have perform the within group analysis and overall analysis and we have this cp and cpk as capability sets that we want to display and parts per million right so we'll click here and go to okay so this is how our capability uh, plot looks like so here you look at so your it shows that your cp and cpk and pp and ppk are well with above over 1.5 that means the process is capable but it is just i would say barely capable this is because the minimum requirement for cp and cpk to be capable is one on the left side it shows you the what is the lower sl uh, upper specification limit as 5.1 sample mean number of observations as 20 sampled standard deviation overall and within the group so this is for capability analysis now we can also do the six pack um, capability analysis so that we need to go to stats again quality tools capability six pack earlier what we did was capability analysis for normal data but now you're going to do capability six pack normal okay so again we are going to enter data here 
uh, as in the this column C2, number of subgroups again one. Same thing that we have entered over there, and click OK. Now you will get a six pack, and this is here. In this case, you have additional information here because it shows uh, the individual charts, moving rate chart, and this all the individual observations that we have entered for 20. And this is the range. How much is the range going on? And this is the uh, last 20 observations that we have recorded. On the right side, we have the capability plot, which shows the upper specification and lower specification limit. This is your uh, probability plot, which shows the probability uh, p value of 0 0.8, which is well above 0 0.05 for data to be normal. Below is the capability plot. Uh, the last line shows the specification limit and it shows the how the variation within and the overall variation with respect to the specification limit. Again, the here they have specified as CP and CPK, your parts per million value within the group, and overall PP and PPK and parts per million value. This is all about process capability six pack report and process capability individual report. So you can go to this uh, to show the, all the graphs here. This is for normality test, what we did earlier. This is for process capability report, and this is process capability six pack report. And if you want to go to look at the data again, you can go to here. This is your data, what we had. So that's all I have for this on process capability using Minitab.